We're here at the ITU studio in Geneva, and I'm very pleased to be joined by Mario Rodrigo Canesa, who is advisor for international affairs for Anatel in Brazil, and he's also chairman of the Council Working Group for Strategic and Financial Plans for the ITU. Mr. Canesa, thank you very much indeed for being with us today. My pleasure. The strategic plan forms the basis for the union to function. What are the key issues that will be addressed during the 2016 to 2019 period? Well, the, the plan will set up uh, what the ITU will be in this period between 2016 and 2019. And since it will be member con uh, driven, it will come from member states and sector members. Will come from the hundred more than 190 member states and the more than 500 sector members. So the contributions will come from all over. It will come from all the regions in the world. It will come from governments from all the regions and sector members from all the countries also. And uh, these contributions will reflect what they think about the future of telecommunications. So we can expect governments to present uh, public policy concerns. We can expect this, the industry to present uh, standardization concerns and uh, present their technologies in search of standardization. For example, the smart grid technologies and cloud computing. Also some issues, global issues like cybersecurity and uh, actually the role of the ITU in the internet uh, governance model. Considering the ambitious goals set out for the Union, do you think that the financial outlay will match the strategic plan? Well, it has to, because uh, that's how you elaborate the st strategic plan of, of the ITU. It's uh, elaborated thinking about the future, and, and in the future you need budget to perform the activities that are laid out in the strategic plan. So the financial plan has to be very much uh, elaborated next to the st strategic plan. Now we have to tackle some uh, maybe problems that the, the union will face in terms of budget, problems that we have been discussing uh, during the last council sessions. And that's the goal of the financial plan, to set up a, a healthy financial future, considering all the goals that the members want the ITU to perform. And finally, what's the impression of member states for the future role of the ITU and its relevance in the rapidly changing world of ICTs? Well, as, as we've been uh, witnessing, uh, member states, they have different views of the ITU. Some member states view the ITU as central to internet governance. Other member states see the ITU as another organization that is very important for IT internet governance. And there's the cybersecurity issue also. What, I what is the role of the ITU in these discussions? And what is the role of the ITU as the telecom organization uh, that uh, defines policies for the development of telecommunications and that's important because telecommunications is the backbone of the internet that's where the internet navigates so i think that's the the main issue that will be discussed at this council working group and the, there will be very interesting discussions considering that there, there are very different views Mario Canaza, thank you very much indeed for being with us today thank you